Hey there, Gemini. This is Chronic Joy Tarot. We're going to do your current reading here for those born under the sign of Gemini or moon or rising sign of Gemini or anyone who happens to come through and stop on this video. That guidance is meant for you, okay? Um, the way my readings go, if you're new to my channel, is that it's much less about other people around you and predictive outcomes and more about you, your inner self, your inner being, and focusing on aspects of yourself each reading in order to grow your soul, sort of, and, and continue your expanded journey here. This is all about you and your soul. And um, so we pick a topic every time to focus on. And for you at this time, Gemini, this comes from the Magical Messages from the Fairies Oracle deck. Be yourself. Be your authentic self, which is the basis for your personal power. I love this because for you, Gemini, <laughs> I was kind of chuckling as I was shuffling off camera because it's like, be yourself, both of you. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it, it, it all is, right? It, it's, it all um, applies. Both sides, both twins um, are you, okay? So I love that. That is where your power lies, is to remember uh, not to morph into other people's you know, ways or, or needs or um, expectations of you and to just remain rooted in your true selves, okay? We're doing the Zen tarot spread here called the Flying Bird to elaborate on this subject. And we have a point of lift off here and then we move between the wings to come to a new level of awareness. Left wing are internal energies that you keep within and may or may not share with others, but you are aware of. And um, the right wing are external energies and sort of how things show up in your day-to-day -day life or how to um, recognize manifestations, you know, of, of these internals. So they play off one another. Okay, starting point for you, Gemini. As it comes to being yourself, look at that, what we get, morality. What is morality? Right? What is right and what is wrong? What is good? What is bad? This is a mental concept. It isn't, uh, it is not an energy that our true selves, our spirit, our soul goes by. Um, so I love this because this, you know, with the duality of, first of all, the duality of yourself, the being the twins, then you have the duality, and, and many of us, if you are a non-Gemini stopping in, we all have a little bit of duality within us, right? The twins just sort of live it out loud. Um, but the duality of right and wrong, good and bad, up or down, you know, it is not, it, it's a human construct. We, we've, we've created that as human beings, and it's a, it's a mental energy. It's not really, it doesn't pertain to our true selves, right? Because our true selves, um, true selves way within, only act and speak and move from love. And there is no duality about that, right? So I love this because this is a call to um, have you sort of pay attention to maybe those mental voices, you know, the, the mind chatter that goes on within you. Oh, don't say that. That wouldn't be right. Or I, I want to try this, but someone might not like it. Or those, those questioning um, judgments that go on within you. Or if you receive them from some other source. It's, it's a nice reminder here that, you know, you can sidestep this whole thing. You can just act from love, act from your true self, and this won't come into play. You can observe it because it is everywhere, the morality, everybody. It's everywhere. And you see maybe people um, around you or, or globally or acting in a very unloving way. 
Um, and, and going to that judgment, oh, they're so wrong to do that, is a little bit, it's not, it's not, it's not wrong. It's not a, it's just not, it doesn't feel as good to carry judgment like that. It doesn't feel as good. And your true inner self doesn't do that, doesn't like to, you know, um, to judge. It just allows everything to be. And, and if you're moving through your time and space with pure love, you can do away with this. So I love that that's the starting point. It's a gentle reminder. There isn't a right or wrong way to be. The first internal energy here is called the fear of flying. So it's a potential block to the progress. And look at that. Knowing, like, the, I like this. So the ripeness card is kind of saying um, everything in its own time, right? So when it comes to making sure you're in alignment with your true self, that lends to an attunement to when is the right time to act? When is the right time to speak? Um, you know, what are the right words to say? You'll, you'll come from a more organic place if you stay attuned to the right timing of everything. You know, that piece of fruit just falls from the tree when it's ready, when it's plump enough. It doesn't, sometimes it gets cut by, by man, but in nature, it just falls when it's ready. And within you, I think you know, there may be some kind of action you want to take or some kind of um, project you want to start. And within you, you know when it's right. You know when it feels right. As long as you're in alignment with your true self, you'll know when to take action. And there isn't any right and wrong, right? As far as when, it's all within you. You're the rightness and the 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 right time and the right way are within you and that's different from anybody else's right time or right way it, it's you own it right so this is all about your internal alignment the first external energy playing off of this so the battle between what's right and what's wrong in my mind and what I know deep within to be the right time to take action the external result of that is this traveling card I love this so you're on your journey. You're on your life journey. Maybe there are things that need to be said or done in your life. As long as they're coming from a place of alignment, of internal alignment, you can't go wrong. And there is no faster pace. There is no better place on the journey to be. You are where you are in this moment. And that is perfection right there. This traveling card shows the journey. This, if you look at this as your entire life, that's what it, you know, that's what it um, consists of. You've got hills and valleys and fog and clarity and sunlight. You've got way down in there forests and rivers. And at any part of the road that you're on, any part of this journey, it's the right place and the right time. And you will continue. It's a big picture kind of a card. Um, <clears throat> so you're good. As long as you're in alignment within, there is no wrong step you can take. Okay. The next internal energy playing off of these is the completion card. So I think within you, you have a sense that you're closing out a phase of your life. Either this is an intuitive, see the last puzzle piece is being put in where the third eye belongs. So and and it's an internal energy. So I love that it's it's uh, it's an in intuitive knowing that either you're in a um, you're closing out a phase of your life, like literally in your in your outward world. But I'm I'm tending to think that like you know ending a job or ending a relationship or something of that nature. But what I really think for more of you is that this pertains to a sort of a, a passing of an older version of you and that you know this within, that there is a newer version ready to emerge and staying in that alignment of, with your true selves, dear Gemini, is the answer 
to be able to move forward. And I think you know, because we all, none of us stay the same. I mean, if we stayed the same, that's a really paltry way to live, right? It's all about growth. It's all about the next phase and learning more and gaining more experience and um, be more in tune with your true self and more and more and more and more, right? And so I feel that a lot of you are aware of this and are aware that you're really closing out. And, and it may have taken a while, um, but I feel that if there's been some inner work being done, you know that it, the end of that is near and it's time to move on. The external energy that plays off of that um, close out sort of, of of a phase of yourself is the burden. And, I'm, and this is coming in your external in your day-to-day -day world, I'm really feeling that this is a release from a burden, a freedom from a burden that may have been internally um, dictated, you know, by your, maybe even by your mind, right? By this morality card. But I feel that you're moving by, by staying in alignment with your authentic, authentic self, and knowing when the right time to move is and taking that next step and knowing that you're changing and growing within, you're more and more free to be exactly who you are on the outside, right? I love this. I love this, this journey right here for you. The next internal energy is the card of compassion. It's the lover's card, but in this instance, because it's internal and it's the highest point of the internal place, the message I get is that your heart is at its highest level of remaining open and accepting and caring for yourself and for others. And I'm really feeling that the self-compassion is the biggest message here since it's an internal place. Um, you're getting that. You're getting to, especially being a Gemini, there might be this constant sort of dual um, struggle. I'm this, no, I'm that. I'm this, no, I'm that. Right. And I feel that you're learning and becoming more integrated with both sides of your twins. And you're, you're really creating a space of self love and compassion in that, um, in that act of accepting and integrating both sides. So I love that free of the burden and able to love yourself. I mean, how much better could this journey get? right? The final card here, the apex of the reading, and it's an external energy, so it's something to look for in your day-to-day -day life, is suppression. So from the beginning to the end, from be yourself, be your full authentic self, don't hold back. Don't hold it in. Don't be uh, hesitant to completely express, express. Suppression is um, perhaps something that you've taught yourself to do, you know, in, as far as along your journey, because I have these dual characters that live within me and I don't really want anyone to know both of them. So I'll hold back on one or, you know what I mean? And that's just not, that is not necessary. It's not necessary. Once, like we said, you're getting that you're right. You're raising your vibration to a new level and you're free of the burden of having to hold back. Self-love is evident and suppression is no longer an issue. You're going to be freed of that. Continue with the, you know, with the cycle starting out in alignment with yourself, knowing that right and wrong is sort of an illusion that we've created and then moving through your life with right timing and, um, your own intuitive energy. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm choking. <laughs> um, so yeah, I love this. I love this for you guys. And if you're not a Gemini, but you felt some of these energies, then yeah, this applies to you very, very easily. I can relate to um, much of this reading myself, and I'm not a Gemini. Okay, my dears, I love you guys so much, and I thank you so much for being here with me, <clears throat> and I will see you um, the next time. If you want to find me on Instagram, I'm there as well. 
doing some mini readings there and little bits, little posts at Chronic Joy Tarot on Instagram. Otherwise, I will see you here on YouTube next time. Okay, love you.